Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we will discuss contrast stretching, gray level slicing, and bit plane slicing associated with the image enhancement. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to apply these three algorithms like contrast stretching, gray level slicing, and bit plane slicing for image enhancement. Contents. In this session, we will discuss these three algorithms which are used for image enhancement that is uh, contrast stretching, gray level slicing and bit plane slicing. Let us see what is contrast stretching. Most of the time we require the image to be enhanced for contrast and for that we require a contrast stretching algorithm. Rather than using a well defined mathematical function for the contrast enhancement, we can use arbitrary user defined transforms. If you look at the transform for contrast stretching, so this is what the transform used for contrast stretching and on the x axis we have the input gray level value that is indicated by r and on y axis we have the output gray level value called s. Okay. And this input gray level value is varying from 0 to l minus 1. Okay. So, if for example, uh, we consider a pixel in an image is represented by 8 bits, then this l minus 1 value will be 255 because 2 raised to 8 will be 256, but since we are starting from 0, it will be uh, this l minus 1 value will be 255. Similarly, on y axis the output grade level values also will range from 0 to 255. And if you look at the transform, we observe here is the input pixels within this range that is 0 to uh, this R1 and S1, the input pixels are enhanced uh, uh, very less because the slope of this line as compared to the line between point R1, S1 and R2, S2, the slope of this line is more than this line. So, the input pixels within this range will be uh, enhanced less. Okay. So, uh, and the input pixel within this range of the input that is R1, S1 and R2, S2 within these two uh, range, the input pixels are enhanced more so that the contrast of the image will be improved. So, this is what the T of R that means uh, transform on the input function that is R where r is a input pixel value. Similarly, if you look at the uh, slope of line from r2 s2 to l minus 1, we observe that this enhance uh, the input pixel within this range are also enhanced very less. So, what we do is here, we stretch the contrast of the pixels within this range. So, this is the input image. If you look at the image has very low contrast and so, if you apply this uh, contrast stretching algorithm 
uh, or we can say this uh, transform we can say on this input image we get the output image uh, like this. So, we see that uh, a prominent enhancement operation has been done on this input image by using this uh, contrast stretching transformation function. This gray level slicing is mostly if you look at the diagram of this transformation function uh, actually boosting the pixels within the input pixel value A and B. If the input pixel value ranges between value A and B, we enhance it. That means only a specific gray level value is uh, boosted and others are not boosted, highlights a specific range of gray levels. So, this is what the range of gray levels which is highlighted by the transformation function. So, function is similar to thresholding, other levels can be suppressed or maintained, other levels means other than between A and B. This is a sample input image for this uh, transformation function that is gray level slicing. This is an input uh, image and we see that the result of applying this transformation function that is gray level slicing on the input image is like this. Okay. So, the user is interested in highlighting only this, uh, these gray levels okay, by using this gray level slicing algorithm. Let us have a question what is the difference between contrast stretching and gray level slicing? You pause the video and answer the question. So, the difference between contrast stretching and the gray level slicing is a very uh, specific that the gray level slicing highlights only some portion of the image whereas contrast stretching uh, stretches the contrast of whole image that last uh, algorithm for image enhancement that is bit plane slicing. For example, you assume that a pixel in an input image is represented by 8 bits. Okay. What, what is here done is least significant bit that is bit 0 of all the pixels is collected together and presented in a bit plane 0. Similarly, there are uh, such how many planes we can construct if the input pixel is represented by using 8 bits, we can construct 8 planes. So, this is a bit plane 0 that is of least significant position and this is a bit plane 7 which is representing the most significant position. So, often by isolating particular bits of the pixel values in an image, we can highlight interesting aspect of that image. For example, higher order bits usually contain most of the significant visual information, lower order bits contain a subtle details means less details are present in the lower order bits. So, if you want to represent the image by using these uh, different planes, we can see how uh, we can represent the image. So, if I used to represent this input image using the least significant bit, then I get this information. So, we see here least significant bit consists very less information. So, do not we do not have the information present in the original uh, image. As we go on increasing the uh, bit position, for example, this is a uh, 0th bit, this is a first bit, this is a second bit, third bit, fourth bit, fifth bit, somewhat uh, we get the input image equivalent in. So, this way we can represent the input image by using a bit 
planes, different bit planes. Even we can combine, for example, if if you combine this uh, 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 two and three bits together, we will get more appealing image because this contains more information than this. And if I combine these two, we will get a good image. So this is what the bit plane slicing. So I used this uh, book, textbook for preparing these slides. So the digital image processing by Rafael C. Gonzalez and Richard E. Woods by Tata McGraw-Hill Education. Thank you very much.